Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today's video is going to be just a little bit different because I have already conducted a trial on this product and I just wanted to post a long form video review. So back in December, two of my favorite brands through Lazy Glow, which is one of my favorite TikTok shops to buy some Korean skincare reached out to me. Both Manyo and MetaHeal along with Lazy Glow reached out to me and wanted me to do a short form piece of content for some of their products. So these products were sent to me but this review is completely my own choice to do. I was not asked to do a long form review on them and that will not affect my opinion on these products. I am going to be reviewing the MetaHeal Vitamide pads in another video, but today I wanted to focus on the Manio Cleansing Balm. First of all, when Manio reached out to me and said they wanted to send me a cleansing balm, I was very excited. I'm not even joking, this cleansing balm was already in my car. I did want to provide a very honest review of their cleansing balm because I've seen so many people talking about it. There was a few questions I got on the video that I posted of the Manio cleansing balm, and so that is why I wanted to make a little bit of a longer review. I know some people enjoy that because I kind of break down the product a little bit better. Short form content is extremely hard to fit everything I want to fit into a video. That's why I love making long form videos. So let's dive into this cleansing balm. First of all, I am a sucker for cleansing balms and Manio makes one of my favorite Korean oil cleansers. And something that I've seen a lot of people talking about is all of the fragrance in that product. It's not something that personally was an issue for me, but it is an issue for so many people. What I love that they've done with this cleansing balm is they did make it fragrance free. This product claims to have a sherbet like texture and and that is exactly what I noticed it to have. The manual cleansing oil was one of my favorites because it has such a beautiful emulsification process to it. And this cleansing balm is no different. The main difference that I see from the oil in the cleansing balm, other than the obvious texture, is what I see with most cleansing balms, which is I feel like this is mostly designed to remove heavy makeup. And if you wear a lot of layers of sunscreen, that's something I noticed this product did well. If I wore a tinted sunscreen that day, I found it to do extremely well at cleansing my skin and being a very gentle yet effective cleansing balm. This product does have olive oil, but the wash off aspect of it made it not be an issue for me. I know some people are sensitive to that and I've personally been sensitive to that ingredient in the past as well. This product was not an issue for that. The average price point I'm seeing is around $20 to $25 and I do feel like that is well justified. Because it is a cleansing balm, you don't have to go through this very fast. It's extremely convenient because you're able to store the spatula in the lid and it's just a really well thought out cleansing balm. I love that Manio did listen to feedback on their cleansing oil and they didn't include fragrance in it. Even in a wash off treatment that can be too much for some people and so I am glad that they opted for that. This product honestly has to be one of my favorite cleansing balms that I've tried because of the great emulsification it has. I feel like if you wear heavier makeup you will love this product or if you wear a lot of layers of sunscreen like I do. It's just a beautiful texture and it has a great emulsification process and it also is extremely effective at being a great first cleanse in a skincare routine. I would 100% recommend trying out this cleanser. If you're a fan of the Manio cleansing oil, I would definitely recommend giving the balm a try. It is just a beautiful texture and a well thought out product in my opinion. My pores didn't get clogged from this product and I didn't experience any acne myself and so I do feel like it is a great option for a cleansing balm. Like I said, I was not obligated to do this review. I just want to do some long form content on this because it does kind of help me break down the product in a more extended way. Thank you so much to Manio and Lazy Glow for sending me these products. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.